In this video, we are going to be looking at the Batmobile and comparing it to the latest new Easter Egg Hunt Mobile. That is right, guys. Okay, so the new Easter Egg video, the one that shoots lasers that you get from completing the Extreme Hunt, I wanted to compare it to the Batmobile. And I wanted to also do something in the comment section below. Which vehicle do you guys think is better? The Extreme Easter Egg video that can shoot lasers or the Batmobile? So go to the comments below and say Batmobile or the new giant Easter Egg Mobile that can shoot lasers. Honestly, it's crazy. And what I also wanted to do is I wanted to see if possibly that the new Egg Mobile would be faster than the Batmobile. Is that even possible? I don't know, but the Batmobile has been one of my favorite vehicles that ever got released in Brookhaven. And yeah, look at this thing, dude. It looks so cool, dude. I absolutely love this Batmobile. And if we just look at it, dude, it is the sleekest, coolest looking vehicle we've ever got. So maybe I'm a little biased. Maybe I'm going to say the Batmobile is better. I don't know, but is it faster? That is another question. The Batmobile had speeds that was unlike any other that rivaled even the Brookhaven Jet. Okay, so I'm telling you, look at this thing, dude. It it is, it is upgraded. We got to change the color of it. Let's change the color to gray. I, I, I think a gray Batmobile looks a lot better. That's what we're going to be doing here. Look at this. Look at this thing, dude. It looks so good. So you might be asking, how do you have the Batmobile right now? The Batmobile was part of the uh, candy corn hunt. Well, guys, it's just say I have my sources on getting the Batmobile. Okay, I have my sources. I have lots of sorcery. Okay, so that be the case. Batmobile is cool, right? Let's see if we can speed this thing up and let's see how fast we can get this thing because the Batmobile came with a lot of amazing things, right? Okay, so going right over here, there is the speed pack, okay? Once you get this, you can change the speed of your vehicles to abnormal speeds. Uh, that's how a lot of people get fast customization and everything on their vehicles. So we're definitely going to need that to see if we can reach the max potential of speed and we're going to be comparing if we can even get and hit the same speed, which, you know, now we can go up to 200 speed. Which one is truly fast? So if we go up here to the speed and we add 200 speed, speed here you're gonna see the batmobile at 200 speed honestly i would like to think that it goes abnormally faster than most vehicles at 200 speed i think it reaches height so we're gonna put turbo 3 on this thing and you're just gonna see a little bit of how intense this thing not only accelerates but how fast it can get at such a short brief of time look at this dude it's so fast okay whoa okay whoa 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 easy there dude it's just it's hard to control i'm not gonna lie it's hard to control but look how fast this thing is going down the strip here it's going so fast dude oh my god okay let's go fast now through here oh dude okay 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 listen so that's pretty fast right let's see if the eggmobile the giant one now considering this giant is probably going to be a little bit slow i think i think it's going to be slower if something tells me it's just going to be slightly slower but we still got to go and we got to compare the speed okay so let's go do that all right, now let me get over here and spawn this thing here. Boom. All right, this thing is big. It is really big. Is it going to be faster? I don't know, dude. It also has like that turbo-ness to the back of it, just like the Batmobile, if you look. So it definitely makes me think, and, and, and honestly, dude, this sounds fun. Now, the Batmobile, uh, to the best of my knowledge, was not EV chargeable. So, EV vehicles do usually have a faster acceleration. They can get up very fast uh, a lot quicker. So, let's go here and let's also do exactly what we did to the Batmobile. Let's go to 200 speed and let's go Turbo 3 on this thing, okay? So, already, it's starting out fast. Oh, dude, this might be just as fast as the Batmobile. Let's go down the same strip. Dude, is this the... Is this just as fast as the Batmobile? Oh my god, it's also hard to handle like the Batmobile. Okay, 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 okay. So let's go over here. All right, let's go down this strip. Let's go down this strip. Get full speed, full speed. Dude, I don't know if the Batmobile is faster or not. Guys, you got to comment below which one you think is faster. Is it the Batmobile or the Eggmobile? Which one is faster in the comment section below? I I, I still want to side with the Batmobile. I want to say the Batmobile is definitely faster, but, like, this is pretty darn fast. I'm not going to lie, dude. This is pretty darn fast. I mean, look at the speeds we're getting. Now, I think it just appears like this one might be slower because it's such a big vehicle, you know? And at, at first glance, you're going to think, like, oh, my God, did we flipped it. I, I'm going to think that, like, um, maybe naturally you're going to think that, you know, the Batmobile is just sleeker, so it's going to be faster, which could be the case. But comparing the two guys, I have to say, I have to say, whoa, this thing is really hard to slow down. Like, just hitting the brakes. Look how long it took me to break that, dude. Reverse ain't a joke either. Holy moly, dude. Why does it go faster in reverse? Hold up. Maybe we should have compared the two in reverse speed because dang, dude. And then if we take it and we combine the glitch that we also have with it, like if we come down here, we get this ladder, dude. We get this ladder. We put the ladder here. Okay. We'll see if this is going to be faster, dude. Okay. I don't know if it's any faster. I'm going to be honest, dude. But dang, dude. This thing goes so fast backwards. What in the world, dude? Oh, how is that even happening, dude? I don't know how that even happened either, dude. That is a little bit crazy. All right. So in comparison, though, 
the Batmobile versus the Eggmobile. Well, in the Batmobile, you don't really have any customization that you can add to the Batmobile. This one, you can add the Roblox symbols, and you can add the turrets, and you can even add the eggs, right? So that's more customizable options, but look at the turrets. Now, the Batmobile does have turrets of its own, um, which are pretty darn powerful, right? The Batmobile, of course, if it didn't have guns and it was a Batmobile, what would be the point and purpose of it? But this is pretty cool. I'm going to be honest. And honestly, in terms of weaponry, I think this might take the cake. Reason why, it's alien technology, borderline, dude. It's from the East Easter aliens. And this thing has laser beams, dude. And this is the first time we've seen a lot of things in Brookhaven with this Easter update. Not only the Eggmobile that hovers, we got our first hovercraft in Brookhaven. Futuristic hover technology introduced to Brookhaven for the first time ever. That's pretty darn cool. And now we also got alien beams technology laser beams, dude, that shoots from the Eggmobile. This is crazy, and we've never seen anything like this either. So with the Batmobile, you're just getting a normal turret, a normal gun, but considering it is the Batmobile, uh, I don't think you can really compare it to that because, like, honestly, the Batmobile is the Batmobile at the end of the day, right? But in terms of more customization and weaponry and uh, stuff of that relating sort, I think the Eggmobile probably has the win on that. So in terms of customization, I'm going to give it to the Eggmobile. I'm not going to lie. I have to. Now, in terms of weaponry, I kind of want to slide and give it to the Eggmobile as well because we have the laser guns. Now, the normal turret, I just don't feel like it's going to be as powerful as something like lasers, uh, laser beams. Like, dude, look at this. You can't tell me in, in a fight. Now, here's the thing, though. I do feel like the Batmobile has better armory. So, in terms of defense, I'm going to give the Batmobile a win on the defense because I feel like the Batmobile is armed up and it probably could take some laser beams, honestly. Unless these lasers can pierce through the Batmobile's armor. Like, honestly, I don't see in a 1v1 fight this thing winning in defense. Something tells me this thing is not bulletproof. And that be the case, it's going to be able to, the bullets of the Batmobile is going to be able to pierce this thing and just absolutely destroy it. So in terms of a 1v1 face-off, in terms of a battle, it depends on how strong the lasers are. If the lasers just pierce through the Batmobile, it will annihilate it because I feel like the lasers in terms of just normal, regular bullets is going to be more powerful. That's just what I'm thinking, right? Um, but I could be wrong. I don't know what's more powerful, lasers or just normal bullets. But that be the case. In terms of defense, though, this thing is going to get pierced and destroyed really easily, and I feel like the Batmobile is going to cause destruction. Not only that, the Batmobile could just run into this thing and probably cause it to just skyrocket across the map, honestly, I feel like. So, uh, it's really hard to say, and it could be a close tie in which vehicle is more powerful, um, but in terms of speed, I still want to side and say the Batmobile is faster. We did compare the Batmobile's speed to the Jet, and I do believe the Jet was slightly faster just because it can cover terrain a lot quicker uh, than a land vehicle. So, so in terms of the jet versus the Batmobile, yeah, I think the jet did take the win on that. And the jet also has turrets. However, you cannot shoot the turrets on the jets in, the, in Brookhaven for some reason. This has been something that has been a big question of mine for the longest amount of time. Why can we not shoot the turrets with the jet? Uh, hopefully that comes in a future update. Considering it's a military jet, it only seems right that we'd be able to shoot the turrets on the jet. But it doesn't seem like something that's possible for some reason. So yeah, that's a little weird. Don't know why that's uh, not possible. Hopefully that's in a future update but uh the batmobile is not going to be able to take a jet out of the air even still right so in terms of speed agility and just overall the jet probably is still going to be the winner over the batmobile and i don't even think the jet needs to be compared to the eggmobile here because i think the jet is going to just absolutely annihilate it so but getting back to our main premise here, the Batmobile versus the Eggmobile, the giant Eggmobile with the laser guns. Let me know in the comment section below which one you guys like better and which one you think would win. Uh, for a lot of people, it's probably going to be a no-brainer. But uh, always interesting, guys. Always with the exclusive events uh, that we get in Brookhaven, we get exclusive vehicles and items that we normally don't have and not normally are going to get to see stay in Brookhaven. So I do want to also reiterate on what uh, earlier with the Batmobile, guys. You cannot get the Batmobile anymore in actual Brookhaven. It's not possible. Uh, that was a special vehicle that only was delivered during the Halloween event. Uh, and it might return. It might return next year with a new vehicle. It would be cool to see a, a, another Mar uh, like DC vehicle or something added in uh, as well. That would be really cool. I would not be against it. I would be uh, totally for it. So uh, it depends. But we have seen that they definitely add things that we could never believe to be added into Brookhaven with these events. And that's what's exciting every time we get an event. And that's why I look forward so much to the Easter event and Candy Corn event, the Halloween event in uh, Brookhaven. 
again Christmas event is usually good, but uh, it usually is just the same thing every year. So I'm really hoping also for this year, Brookhaven really can, or, or Wolfpack really considers adding a unique Christmas event like we've never received as well uh, uh, for this year. So it's really hard to say, but I think this year is going to be one of the most extreme over the top years for Brookhaven. And I really have hope for that. And I really want to stick true to believing in that because honestly, the things that can be done is just going to be absolutely unbelievable, right? Let's change the time here. This looks amazing. And let's go EV charge this thing up real quick. Look at that, dude. Oh, it's over here. I, I pulled around the wrong way. So we're going to EV charge up our vehicle. And uh, in terms of acceleration, though, in terms of acceleration, all the stats prove that this would be faster, though. All, all the stats prove that this would be faster. So it's kind of hard to say. But let me know in the comments, guys. Fun little video here today. We got lots of videos planned. And with that aside, I will see you guys in the next one, of course.